Distributed scanning is a revolution in laser scanning functionality. With distributed scanning you get decreased flicker, increased brightness, and an increased frame rate on heavy graphical images. Let's see how it works. As you can see in this example, we're going to be projecting a simple test pattern from our first laser projector. Once we have this set up, we're going to take the second laser projector we have and project another test pattern from it. Then, we're going to align the projection zones on top of each other, as you can see here. Once we've got this all set up, we're going to click Enable Distribution, whereby we connect the second projector together with the first one inside of Beyond. Now, when we project a graphic image, you can see the image projected by both lasers in our setup. Let's look at it a classic example using the Coca-Cola logo, which is traditionally a very complex logo to project. Here, you can see it projected by only one laser in our setup. Notice how you have a slight amount of flicker and distortion in the image. Now, let's see how it looks after we apply distributed scanning. Notice how much cleaner and more refined the image looks. This is the power of distributed scanning. It allows you to project incredibly clean, crisp HD laser graphics and logos as well as text. The distributed scanning technology allows Beyond 4.0 and our FB4 hardware to utilize multiple projectors together to display laser graphics in a much more refined format. While some software companies try and visualize Flickr, we just get rid of it entirely. Now you can project text and complex logos all without Flickr providing a truly HD laser graphic experience. Groups and multi-zone effects offer you an entirely new mode for live control. Now cues inside of your workspace can be organized into groups and these groups will define the life cycle and output of that cues playback. Think of it as basically a new way of organizing your workspace. Beyond 4.0 also introduces a new way of controlling the destination of a cue. Now you can easily change the destination of a cue by the means of a new effect located inside the grid. The destination of a cue can be animated as well. Multi-zone effects allow you to unite your effects together with a projection zone, making it a lot easier to run several independent effects across multiple zones. Here, you can see how we have set up a few groups and multi-zone effects. For each cue, you can assign a trigger mode, such as toggle, flash, solo, or flash solo, and each group operates independently of one another, allowing you to use one content queue, effect queue, or destination queue. This essentially allows you to simplify your workspace, making it much easier to run complex live laser shows. The new audio video mixdown feature in Beyond 4.0 is great when you want to create a nice preview of a laser or multimedia show to share with clients. It consists of a new dialog box where you can mix audio, video, and laser content to create a laser over video file. Here, you can see we are working in the multimedia timeline. I have an AVI file along with some laser beam cues. Now, we are going to export and create a laser over video mixdown. In this dialog box, we have our settings on the right side, and as soon as we click the start button, the software will start the mixdown process. As you can see, Beyond has now created a short video for us. It will be available in your folder where you can double click your new video file and the VLC player will play the created video file for you. This is really a great tool if you want to send your client a quick preview of your laser or multimedia show.
Let's take a look at the new frame editor inside of Beyond 4.0. The new Beyond 4.0 frame editor satisfies both past and future generations. We've taken all of your favorite tools from LD2000 and built them into the new frame editor. So the frame editor now includes 50 advanced drawing tools, helping you design and draw content faster and easier than ever before. In addition, with the new Effect Transform tool, you can now adjust all of your frames in a frame file at the same time. So for example, say you want to resize, recolor, or apply an effect to all frames in a specific file, you can now do this with just a few mouse clicks. This helps you as an artist quickly and effectively apply advanced effects in a frame without spending a ton of time doing it. Let's check out the new scanner simulation feature in Beyond 4.0. Gone are the days where you'll have to wonder how content you create in the frame editor will look across different projectors. With the new scanner simulation feature, you can see in real time how a projected image will look as you draw it all inside of Beyond 4.0. See point by point, movement by movement, how adjustments in the frame editor will truly affect the projected content of a laser image and you don't need a laser projector connected to do this. So next time you're flying to a client destination, you'll be able to entirely work on your show knowing exactly how it will look once you hook up a decent laser projector. Now we're gonna demonstrate the new settings inside of the FB4 menu in Beyond 4.0, including the FB4 export tool, file browser, and settings menu. To begin, we're going to define the content you want to export to the FB4. This menu has options to schedule content on specific dates, times, as well as choose DMX workspaces, test frames, playlists, and more. In this example, we're going to export standard test frames. We will select the standard for test frames and click OK. In the next window, the software will show you the standard test frames it will export. And once we click on the export button, it will allow us to save the project for later use. After this, you're going to see the welcome menu for the FB4 export menu. The export wizard is going to ask you a few questions, such as if you want to edit your geometric correction and color settings, etc. Next, you will see a menu where you can decide if you want to project a single queue or multi-projector show. After this, you can select the pro projectors you want to use for exportation. Then, decide if you want to export a file to the SD card or if you want to export to a connected FB4 over the network. This is really a great feature because now you can update content on an external FB4 without having to physically go to the projector. The final step here is to define your export folder. And now, the software will start the exportation process. Now let's take it a step further and browse the content we have on our SD memory on FB4. Click File and select the FB4 browser. Then, select your projector with FB4. Now you can browse the files and folders that are saved on the SD card on your FB4. The FB4 browser window also allows you to both download and upload files, as you can see here. Now, we are going to show you the FB4 Settings window. Now that you can access the FB4 Settings menu from Beyond 4.0, you will not need to worry about climbing trusts for adjustments anymore. This th makes things a lot more convenient. Just select the FB4 to adjust the menu settings, click on the test mode button, and you will notice how it disconnects from beyond and is now in test mode. Once in test mode, you can enable and you can actually see the projected test frame from the projector. You can also adjust settings like size, brightness, and so on. Once you're finished, you can return the FB4 back to Beyond mode so that it is then connected in the Beyond setup. These new FB4 settings in Beyond 4.0 make it much easier to run shows in auto mode, as well as run large-scale laser shows using multiple projectors and updating content remotely on an FB4. Parametric images are a new addition to the Beyond 4.0 software. Imagine being able to create complex abstract-related content in an incredibly simple, fast, 
and easy to use format. This is what parametric images are all about. Parametric images are the newest member to the Pangolin image family, and this tool offers 20 simple forms that can be used as a shape or synthesized image or as a part of a more complex picture. Parameters can also be changed in real time from an external source such as audio, MIDI, DMX, and so on. So for example, let's look at this spiral. I'm going to apply a quick audio input to it, and now as I talk louder, you will notice it changes the nature of the effect displayed. This is just one of the fun and exciting abstract content features you can create using parametric images and Beyond 4.0. The final new thing in regards to Beyond 4.0 is that it is now a true 64-bit application. This has been a highly requested item and we're happy to report that it's been completed. This now concludes our overview of the new features inside Beyond 4.0. We've got some new and exciting tutorials coming soon showing these features in action, so make sure to stay tuned to our YouTube channel and Facebook channel for more information. Take care and we'll see you next time guys.